Ever since my son Jack started first grade this year, my three-year-old daughter Riley has been completely obsessed with doing homework with him. This is the first time that Riley has ever really expressed interest in learning the same things that her brother does. She usually doesn't gravitate towards these types of activities, so I'm very excited that I get to start working with her now, the same way I did with her brother. The most natural first step to take when your child expresses interest in learning to read and write is to first use a word they are most familiar and most comfortable with, their name. Today's video is going to show you some activities you can do when your child is first learning how to write their name, how to recognize their name, and how to put the letters in their name in the proper order. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a new upload. All right, let's get started with our first activity. This is a very simple one and it is a name puzzle. I'm showing you two different levels in this video, so this would be level one. This is for the very early learners. The student you're seeing here, just to give you a little background, she has absolutely zero knowledge of letters. She's never been to school before. She doesn't recognize her name yet. So what I've done is I've written her name out in all capital letters because those are easier to write. So when we eventually move into writing, it will be easier for her. I have then written her name one more time and cut the letters into puzzle pieces. What she's doing is simply matching the letters onto the strip so that she can spell her name and the two of us are identifying the letters. In the next level of this activity, which I probably would not do again with her because it was a little bit challenging, you take away the scaffold of having the name underneath the puzzle you flip over that strip so that they cannot see their name and then they have to put the pieces back in the correct order without looking at their name. So as you can see, this is a bit of a challenge for her. So you really have to think about what your child is ready for and how much experience they have with their name, looking at their name, putting the letters in order and identifying the letters. That is the name puzzle game. This next activity requires a strip with your child's name on it, Q-tips, and washable paint. What you do is you have your child choose a color they would like to use to dot their name and let them dot each letter of their name, either in the same color or a different color. It's completely up to them. Not only is this great for letter formation practice and recognizing their name, it's also really good for that fine motor muscle development that will help them with their writing in the future. A very fun and very popular game in my class, for sure. If your child is working on letter sounds, then this last one is for you. What you need to do is write your child's name out and divide up each letter or group of letters based on the sounds they make. So I have R, I, L, and then E, Y are connected in Riley's name because the E and the Y are making an E sound at the end. And then what you'll notice happening on screen is that I am asking Riley, what different things make the sound for each of the letters in her name. So for R, we have rainbow, raccoon. For I, we have ice cream and island because her name makes the long I sound. For L, we have lemon and lion. And for E, we have Easter eggs and someone eating. This is a great game, like I said, for kids that are learning beginning sounds or if you just want your child to recognize the sounds in their name. That's all we've got for you today. Riley and I hope you enjoyed learning about how you can use names in all kinds of fun activities with your child. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and share it with a friend who might find it useful or interesting. As always, you can connect with me on social media at Walk Away From The Workbook on Facebook and Instagram, or you can email me directly at walkawayfromtheworkbook at gmail.com. Until next time, have fun learning with your little ones. Bye.